72 years ago, our country dropped two atomic bombs on the Empire of Japan, which is just Japan now, but it used to be called that. Um, recently, there's been a lot of contention with us in North Korea. As I know, Trump sent over a um, destroyer to the Korean Peninsula to hopefully scare North Korea into not showing too much aggression as they have in the past. And personally, I don't think this is the greatest plan. When we dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki about 72 years ago, um, it was about 200,000 people died in Hiroshima, and I think it was like 80,000 in Nagasaki. Though, the reason we did this, though, is because Japan was going to prepare an army to pretty much just defend their country until the last man was dead. And the only way we knew that things wouldn't repeat themselves and there wouldn't be as many casualties as there would have been, like in Okinawa, which would pretty much would have been the entire country for if we didn't do that. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say right now is that North Korea... North Korea is run by a horrible dictator, dictator with horrible laws, but I don't think that scaring them and putting pressure on them and hacking their missiles and all this stuff is going to make things better. Personally, I think we should just go in there and just take out Kim Jong-un and just set up the government like we did with Japan. And the pro there's one problem with this, though. It's the fact that when we invaded Japan, the people were mortified because... Imagine a bunch of people from a country that you've never been to, that you've never seen really, and these people who, I'm sorry to say it, but they're like double the size of you, walk in to your country, and the government has pretty much told you the entire time that these people are the devil, these people are evil, and these people come over and take over your country and show you mercy. Like, I, I can't even imagine what those people must have been feeling. And I feel like it would be the same if we took over North Korea, because those people are brainwashed, and we all know that. I'm pretty sure there's some law that says you can only have, like, 18 haircuts if you're a woman, and all this crazy nonsense. And the people are impoverished and starving, and that's just a very oppressive regime. Um, I believe that we nukes are not necessary whatsoever for this. I never think that we should do the same thing as we did in Okinawa and Nagasaki. Sorry, not, not Okinawa, sorry. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I never think we should ever do that ever again. But it was necessary then, and I think Trump... I think Trump will do what's necessary to protect our country from Kim Jong-un and his regime. And I don't know, if, if you guys agree with me, if you guys agree with whatever other opinion, just tell me in the comments. I'm hoping that this will blow over pretty fast and that the Korean people will be okay and that everything will just blow over fast but um, tell me what you think in the comments and I'll definitely talk about them more in the next video or just in other videos or even on my social media and uh, yeah see you guys later we gotta be with, we gotta be with you